What is up guys? Make sure that if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. What is up guys? Fahir here from awesometudes.com and let's take a look at another way how we can make our camera follow our player using the cinema machine. Now before we start, I'm just gonna say that you can download this complete project, link is in the description below. So now moving forward, we need to import Cinema machine in our project and we can do that in the packages tab but if you don't have the packages tab I'm just gonna close it if you don't have it don't see it anywhere you're gonna go under window and you're gonna click on package manager so again it's under window and then package manager when you have it well it's like this and you need to dock it so let's dock it right here and in order for you to download Cinema Machine, I already have it in my project. You're going to go on all. So click on all, not in project, but click all this right here. And you're going to filter here for Cinema Machine. So here it is. And you're just going to click here. You will see install. For example, if I click on this burst, you will see install here. So on Cinema Machine, you're going to click install because, well, for mine, I don't have it. I already install it. So again, you will see here install. You will click on that and voila, you are good to go. And when you do that, you will see Cinema Machine right here on your tab. So you see here you have files, edit, assets, blah, 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 and you have Cinema Machine right here. And you have a couple of options. Now, first of all, I want you to pay attention to the main camera. When we click on it, you see we have the main camera script attached on it. You see what we see? You see what we see. I mean, do you see how the camera is looking at the scene? Because now you're see gonna see something different when we import our Cinema Machine or when we actually implement it in our camera or on the camera so you're gonna click on cinema machine right here and then you're gonna create a 2d camera so like this one right here simply click on 2d camera and bam do you see the difference now this is what I was talking about because now the main camera here is being controlled by this cinema machine you see here cinema machine brain script it is now controlling the main camera you see here if I change the size on the main camera, it's not working because, well, the cinema machine is not allowing us. The same way for the options of X, Y, and Z. So I cannot change the position of the camera as well. Instead, we need to do that using this CMV Cam 1, which has these properties here. Now we especially, we need this body property, this one right here. See the body property, you're probably gonna see it like this. So you're gonna expand it. So you're simply going to expand it. it. The first thing it says here, framing transporter requires a follow target. Change body to do nothing if you don't want to follow a target. Now we do want to follow the target and our target is the player. And you will see here in the cinema machine, you have a couple of options. And so let me just highlight that quickly. So here you see, come on open. So here you have the follow that we need to drag and drop, which is going to be our player. So I'm simply going to drag and drop him here and our camera will be programmed that way to follow the player. So take the zombie and put it right here in the follow and voila, we are good to go. Now, how can we change our camera to be closer to the player? Because we cannot change here. The size is 10. If I put it at five, well, it's not going to work. So we need to take the CM v cam one so this one right here and here we have the our orthographic size right here you see it so here we have lens so under lens we have orthographic size i'm gonna put it back at five and voila we are good to go now we can take a look at some of the options specifically here in the body of cm v cam one which is this game object here that i have selected and the body here for the script cinema machine virtual camera script the first thing that I want to do is move the camera a little bit down. I want the camera to follow my player, but the ground will be closer to the end of the camera. I don't want it to be like this in the middle. So what we're going to do is take this screen Y, you see here this screen Y, and we move it up and down, and this is how we're going to set it. I'm basically going to set it at 0.85, and this is how I want or where I want my camera to be to follow the player. So basically this screen Y right here, let me just take the highlight tool quickly just so that I can highlight that for you. So screen Y here, and you can do the same thing for screen X. So if you want the camera to be, you see like this, so if you want the camera to follow the player from the edge of the left screen, so you just move the screen Y slider left or right to put it where you want to put it. If you want to, the camera to follow the player from the middle, then it will be point Five. So if you have a game where your character is here at the edge of the left side of the camera and only can go forward, 
this is the way to go. So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to hit the play button right now because we set here the follow target. If you remember a moment ago, we set the follow target here to be the zombie, which is our player. The camera will follow him right away. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is that we have a little bit of dead zone. This is a so-called dead zone, which is this space right here. So the space here, basically, that it gives flexibility for the zombie to move left and right before the camera starts actually following the player. Now, if you pay attention, you see I'm moving the zombie, but the camera does not start to follow him right away. You see moving and then the camera will start to follow. Now, I'm moving to this side and then a little bit after the camera starts to follow. This is this dead zone, this right here. If I take the dead zone and set it on zero, that means that the camera will start to follow the player immediately after we press the button. You see, immediately after we press the button, the camera starts following the player. You see, and I jumped for some reason and now the camera is stuck here. Let me just rerun the game and go here and put the Z dumping. So at zero for the X or dead zone for the height and the width. I said Z dumping was actually, well, for the width and the height. So if you jump now, you see, when you jump, so now the camera returns back because we set the dead zone for the height to be at zero. That's why the camera went back. And this dumping here, if I remove the dumping, you see the camera will follow the player smoothly right away. This is that dumping. If I change the dumping X, let's say on eight, you see, it also gives a little bit of space before the camera starts following the player and it smoothly dumps or changes or moves towards the player. Basically, this X dumping and Y dumping will make the camera smoothly follow the player. If you want the camera to follow the player immediately, you will set it at zero. Same as for the X, if I want to, or actually for the Y, excuse me. If I want to jump, you see right away and go back right away, simply set the dumping at zero. If I set the dumping X on zero, the camera immediately starts following the player. See, immediately. And I can change it right here. Let me just go and take the screen X and put the player right here. So now, if you have a game like this where you need to move forward, then this is what you're gonna do. You will probably set the dumping X at zero. And depending on if you want dumping Y at zero, you will set that as well. And then you will move the screen to the middle of the, or actually move the screen slider closer to the left edge. So 0 0.045 or 0 0.05, depending on what you want to do and what you want to achieve. And also for the screen wide, depending on where you want the camera to follow the player. Basically, these are the controls that you are gonna take or change in order to make the camera follow your player. Now, this is really, really simple. We don't require any code as we did in the previous videos. Basically, just add the cinema machine and just play with these controls right here so that you can, well, simply make that camera follow the player. Now you see here, look ahead time. If we put it like this, it will give a little bit, you know, look ahead time. It's basically, it will move the camera so that we can look ahead. You see, I put it at one and we saw the effect. You see, I move and you see it gives the player, you see, it gives him perspective in front what is or what will come. He can see that basically. So just play with these commands here. I've explained a lot of these. So we had this look ahead, we have X dumping, Y dumping, the screen, the dead zone. And again, you can play with the depth of the dead zone. So if I set the dead zone here, you see again, it gives a little bit of space and my, and my character just fell down. Let me take the zombie and here for constraints, freeze the Z rotation. But I lost all of those configuration, does not matter. I can just change it back here. So let's go. And you see here, we have the dead zone, which is at 0 0.1. Let's say we set the depth, you see, at three. I actually did not ins inspect all of these, but you can, well, just play with them and see the outcome. So basically this dead zone depth gives a little bit more depth to the dead zone that we already have here. If we put it back at zero, it does not have effect. Actually a little bit, maybe not. No, because that is because of the X dumping. If I remove X dumping, then the camera will start following the player right away. So yeah, this dead zone depth gives a little bit more depth to the dead zone. And that is basically what we need to do in order to make the cinema machine camera follow our player. So just play with these settings. And we already saw a couple of examples. We don't need any code for this. 
And yeah, Fahir here from AwesomeDudes.com. I will see you guys in the next video, but don't forget to download this complete project. Link is in the description below. And well, see you then, guys. Make sure that if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications.